welcome to Ace Linguistics. This channel is about all things linguistic. So let's see what we've got today. You know, in English, potentially we can have sentences that are ambiguous. Not because the words are ambiguous, but because of the potential ways in which the words could relate to each other within the sentence. I mean, before we get there, you need to know that the phrases that we studied, as I told you in two videos ago, these are phrasal categories. Noun phrase, verb phrase, adjective phrase, even inflectional phrase, sentence, they are categories. They are phrasal categories, okay? But we have lexical categories, which are like noun, verb. We also have functional categories like determiner or auxiliary or auxiliary verb. If I tell you the sentence, the boy ran up the river, Basically, because phrase structure trees are based on phrase structure rules, and what is the nature of rules is that they can be applied an infinite number of times. Therefore, the same phrase structure tree may account for different sentences. For example, the boy ran up the river can also has the same tree structure as a dog barked at the boy. It's a determiner noun, which is a noun phrase. The ox is both cases past. The verb is ran, then the verb could be barked. Preposition up or at, and then followed by a noun phrase, the river or the boy. So potentially, you could fit a lot of other sentences into this tree diagram. And in all the cases, you could write the same phrase structure rules. Sentence is noun phrase, aux verb phrase. This is a generic rule. The noun phrase is determiner noun. Verb phrase V, prepositional phrase. Prepositional phrase, pre, preposition followed by noun phrase. Again, we have a noun phrase at the end, which is determiner noun. But because we already wrote the rule here, we don't write it here again. Now, this was an introduction to structural ambiguity or syntactic ambiguity. Structural ambiguity means that one can attribute two different structures to the same sentence. Depending on how you interpret the meaning, for every meaning there will be a different tree diagram. I can give you an example that has a sentence that has at least two meanings. The burglar threatened the student with the knife. So, can you see the ambiguity here? What are the two possible meanings? Was it the burglar having the knife and then threatening the student with the knife? Or was it the student with the knife that was threatened by the burglar? I think meaning one, everybody is more likely to understand the sentence as the burglar having the knife, which would be meaning one. And tree one here is the tree diagram or phrase structure tree for a meaning one. But meaning two in which the student had the knife can be accounted for by tree two here. Do you see the difference? So in meaning one, the, the knife, the prepositional phrase with the knife, falls directly under the verb phrase node. Here, it's not the burglar that has the knife. It is the act of threatening that is, a com is done using the knife. But of course, it is the burglar who does the threatening but that's at a higher level. First, it is the act of threatening being done with the knife. It is then through the threatening is attributed to the burglar. So the knife is not directly related to the burglar. First, there is an intermediary level at which the knife goes with the verb. Then the verb goes with the agent or the subject. And the subject is the noun phrase. But in meaning two, with this knife becomes an integral part of the noun phrase. If you have such a noun phrase, you need to have all the 
the words at one level look np is at the top but then you have three branches that directly go into the determiner the noun and the phrases prepositional phrase another ambiguous sentence the girl saw the man with the telescope how is that ambiguous it is ambiguous again or was it the seeing that was done with the telescope or was it the man that had the telescope in the first sense in which it was the seeing the act of seeing that happened with the telescope the telescope becomes directly is directly connected to the verb phrase note because it is directly integrated and related to the verb see the girl doesn't have the telescope directly according to this structure First, the telescope goes with the, the verb see, which in this case is past tense saw. It is the act of seeing that happens with the telescope. Then it is the girl who does the act of seeing. But in the meaning, in sense two, in the second meaning, the telescope becomes part of the noun phrase, which the man is also part of. We have in both of these cases, we have syntactic ambiguity or structural ambiguity every meaning is made possible through a particular syntactic structure and because of that we need to visually represent those structures we can draw those structures okay something that causes confusion for the students is that they see that the girl that had the telescope or the burglar that had the knife why doesn't it connect directly to the girl that's because it's not just knowing the semantics. You need to take your time and go through all the steps in the syntax to create that meaning. Thanks for your time and attention and see you again soon.